North, North, broadcasting live from the North, 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 from the 715, from the North, North. Hey guys, what's up? Um, just wanted to do a little bit quicker of a video today. Um, the ones I've made up until now are a little long-winded, usually a half hour, 45 minutes, or a full hour. So I wanted to do more of like a quick tip here. And this is kind of the hip-hop vocal condensed version. So um, for clickbait reasons, we're going to call it the easy button. So um, it's actually a couple of easy buttons on a couple of easy plugins. But it's basically, you know, seven steps to getting a, a clean vocal, whether that be for rap and hip hop or, you know, voiceovers or, you know, f film stuff or, or any genre of music, um, you know, most or all of this can be applied. And again, you know, you can go more extreme with some of the stuff or substitute in some of your favorites. Um, I'm going to show like the Renaissance bundle of waves here, um, Fab Filter and the stock plugins as well um so basically the seven steps step one is eq and that includes a high pass and then your subtractive eq um that's the first thing i like to do on any track of any dialogue or you know even any instruments you should be high passing at you know maybe a, a different frequency but nonetheless so I just have my Vox EQ, you know, here's the factory default. I just go in here, click that, and I have this set up for um, the Renaissance EQ, the Fab Filter Pro Q, and the stock one. So, you know, you can see here these ones just aren't active. Same with this. I just set up my sweeps for plus 10 with a really narrow Q, so you can just go in. Do your sweep, you know, bring it down, and and you know, open up the cue a little bit, depending on how much, you know, you want to notch it. Um, so same here, you know, just go between, activate it, and then you can listen to it, bring it down. So. You know, you can do that with any EQ. It doesn't even have to be a graphic one. But that's step one, high pass, subtractive EQ. Um, step two is, I mean, depending on how loud the vocal is, step two and three can be in a different order. Like if, if the vocal or whatever you're listening to is really quiet, then sometimes I'll put the compressor first just to bring it up and level it out and then hit it with the de -esser. But if it's already pretty loud and, you know, pretty compressed when it was recorded, then I'll put the de -esser second. But, you know, these two are kind of interchangeable. Um, this plug-in, though, Arvox, is... This is the easy button here. Um putting this on all vocals just really makes it pop and I'll, I'll you know show you here now we don't put so this is this is the original uh already mixed with let's make sure i got all the effects on yep okay we don't play to lose we play to win it's the game of thrones let the games begin Okay, and here's the dry. We don't play to lose. We play to win. It's the Game of Thrones. Let the games begin. All right, so now I'll just toggle off the R box here. We don't play to lose. We play to win. It's the Game of Thrones. Let the games begin. We don't play to lose. We play. And it gets a little louder too than the original, so we'll bring that down. And try. We don't play to lose, we play to win. It's the Game of Thrones, let the games begin. We don't play to lose, we play to win. It's the Game of Thrones, let the games begin. We don't play to. All right, so um, it, it, it's just this compressor here is the easy button because it's dummy proof and that doesn't mean it's only for beginners there was you know an uh an engineer on pensado's place said she still puts it 
on every vocal track and she's mixed you know some some big time songs um i can't remember her name and i don't want to butcher it so it's just the the r compressor that comes with the bundle it's 149 dollars for this compressor the r comp uh this deesser this eq r verb and irl reverbs and I think maybe a multi-band compressor too, but you know that's a steal. This this plugin is just night and day, and you know the EQ I just wanted to show you can be done with any of these. It's all you know. Same with the DSer, the Renaissance DSer is just fine. But you know I've really been using this one a lot lately. This one I mixed a while ago, so I was still using the Renaissance one. But you know these are just simple to you hit audition to hear where it is. We'll listen to this one. It's just my preset I put for, you know, the S's. We don't play to lose. We play to win. It's the... And this one highlights where they are too. That this is just a really awesome plugin. But you know, same thing here. I already have this one kind of dialed in, but we'll just go back and redo it so you can see. Um, I like to have it on the notch ones. You know, some people who are really sibilant, then I'll you know put it all the way up. But the notch is just a little more precise and usually does what I needed to do. We don't play to lose. We play to win. It's the Game of Thrones. Let the games begin. We don't play to lose. We play to win. So, you know, you just dial it in. We play to win. It's the Game of Thrones. Let the games begin. We don't play to lose. We play to win. It's the Game of Thrones. Let the games begin. We don't play to lose. We play to win. It's the Game of Thrones. Let the games begin. We don't play to lose. Oh, that's why it sounded so boomy. All right. We don't play to lose. We play to win. It's the Game of Thrones. So this is the Renaissance verse, the Fab Filter here. We don't play to lose. We play to win. It's the Game of Thrones. All right, and here's the Rvox instead of the Fab Filter compressor. We don't play to lose. We play to win. It's the Game of Thrones. Let the games begin. We don't play to lose. We play to win. It doesn't even sound bad with both of them on there. We don't play to lose. We play to win. It's the Game of Thrones. Let the games begin. It actually sounds pretty good and thick too, but the, the Rvox just adds so much. But I don't want to spend that much time on just the compression. So we got steps one, two, and three. Subtractive EQ. So you go in with your bands, do your sweeps, and bring them down. Right with a high pass filter. Step two and three is a de-esser and the rvox or you know a compressor your choice but i can't say enough about the rvox then next we got what's going on on the bus compressor um so i'll show you or on the subgroup sorry we got some bus compression and some other effects here some saturation that's on there as well so steps one two and three i do on the individual channel then from there we get to you know bus compression multi-band eq and saturation that's four five and six and seven is delay and reverb so um i'm gonna you know have you take a listen to it through the subgroup with it off and then with it on again we don't play to lose we play to win and here's uh, we will go back and forth between the fab filter and the 
Renaissance without going through the subgroup. We don't play to lose. We play to win. It's the Game of Thrones. Let the games begin. We don't play to lose. We play to win. It's the Game of Thrones. Let the games begin. We don't play to lose. We play to win. It's the Game of Thrones. Let the games begin. We don't play to lose. We play to win. It's the game. All right, so step one is bus compression, but in here I'm also doing a little EQ boosting or a lot or a little bit three times we'll say that so we got our console emulation I mean that counts as saturation so does the virtual tube so those will lump in with the virtual tape machine so that's saturation that's number six on the list here so bus bus compression we got through the 1176 right here and then you know boosting some some highs and sweetening it up a bit so we'll do that on and off. We don't play to lose. We play to win. It's the Game of Thrones. Let the games begin. We don't play to lose. We play to win. So it's obviously getting louder, but you can also tell that it's getting a lot richer too. Um, Multi-band compressor. This doing a little bit of some trickery here. Um, you know, these are pretty flat, and I'll watch it, you know, watch the... We don't play to lose, we play to win It's the Game of Thrones, let the games begin We don't play to lose So it's boosted, but it's also compressing So, you know, in, in essentially you're boosting with EQ You know, you're boosting this whole range right here 1.4 and then 0.7 in the high end But where it, it comes in real hot, it's still you know compressing it so just the places that aren't as strong that's the most presence where the human voice is and also you know a lot of instruments but that's also where our hearing is you know the most sensitive um so we'll do that on and off we don't play to lose we play to win it's the game of thrones let the games begin we don't play to lose we play to win it's the game of thrones let the games begin and you know i just slightly the whole way and then saturation we don't play to lose so that's basically one two three and then on the subgroup four five and six and then delay and reverb we already have coming to it so you know we'll We'll go step by step here. So first, this is without it. We don't play to lose. We play to win. It's the Game of Thrones. Let the games begin. We don't play to lose. We play to win. All right, that's dry. Here's with our steps one through three. We don't play to lose. We play to win. It's the Game of Thrones. Let the games begin. We don't play to lose, we play to win, it's the Game of Thrones, let the games begin. Equal up the volume a little here. We don't play to lose, we play to win, it's the Game of Thrones, let the games begin. We don't play to lose, we play to win, it's the Game of Thrones. Alright, so now we'll put the subgroups. We don't play to lose. We play to win. It's the Game of Thrones. Let the games begin. Reverse drive. We don't play to lose. We play to win. It's the Game of Thrones. Let the games begin. We don't. And then we'll add in our delay and reverb here. We don't play to lose. We play to win. It's the Game of Thrones. Let the games begin. We don't play to lose. We don't play to lose. We play to win. It's the Game of Thrones. Let the games begin. We don't play to lose. We play to win. It's the Game of Thrones. All right. So there we go. And again, just to run through them all, steps one, two, three is subtractive EQ and high pass. And then deesser and the Rvox, you know, if you can. Otherwise, another like LA 2A ish, just smooth and makes it really fat. 
and then you know in the bus compression then I got something that's you know the a little bit faster of an attack that's gonna tame the peaks Then multi-band compression you know bumping the mids up a little bit and the high and then we got some saturation and included with that is also on you know the VMR if you're gonna use tube saturation or you know Abbey Road vinyl or anything like that these uh, you know are really awesome the Hollywood New York and London and then the virtual channel of course where you can select which channel you want to emulate um, so one two three EQ deesser compressor four five six bus compression multiband saturation alright and then finally delay and reverb and we got our delay here a couple more and then you know there, there's other things to, the doubler the little micro shift is a cool tool but you know basically one through seven to get a good vocal there you have it um, I wanted to do a bit shorter one for people who didn't want to go through an in-depth hour um, but hopefully you learned something and um, you know comment if you want to see some videos about other things um, and I'll you know try to reply and you know answer the request um, as time allows